All right, man, you ready for this? Today I'm gonna share with you some info on how to make your own coupon or voucher at Adobe Photoshop CC. This is something you could probably do in like 10 minutes if you already have an idea of what you want. But before we move forward, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. All right, let's do it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get the photo that you wanna cut out. If you're unsure on how to do this, I have a video on how to cut backgrounds for photos right here. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your document set up. I'm gonna be using the standard size that coupons typically come in, but I mean, you can use whatever size you want, honestly. Some people go for the smaller sizes in order to get more deals on the eight by 10 sheet. I mean, it all just depends on how many different coupons you want to make and what is cost effective to you. And you want to make sure regardless of what dimensions you make it, you make your pixel resolution 300. The next thing you want to do is set up some guides by clicking and dragging away from the ruler. You're going to want to wait. You're going to want to make sure that you ain't had. You're going to want to make sure that you don't have anything important outside the guidelines because it'll make it difficult to cut your coupons down properly if you need to cut them out and hand them out individually later. I chose to use a quarter inch bleed, but I mean, you can use as little as an eighth inch bleed if you need to. Next, after I've got my photo placed in the area that looks good, I wanna create or cut, I wanna create our cutout or dotted line. You can do this by grabbing a shape tool and then, you know, just picking the rectangular format. If you drag a rectangle out, just make sure that it stays in a decent area. This just tells people where to cut the coupon out from. Now, if you click the down arrow two spaces to the right of the stroke option, you'll be able to edit the way your stroke appears. So instead of a solid line, we can go with a dotted line. And you can use a dotted line or the dots, but just be sure to make sure your fill is set to empty so you can see. Um, the actual canvas is not covered up with a solid shape. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add information to the coupon. You wanna be clear in what you're offering. You wanna make sure that the offer stands out more than the rest of the design. So if I wanna offer $3 off of a burger meal, I'm gonna to try to make sure that the $3 off is the first thing that the customer notices. Now, you can do this in a few different ways though. One, by changing the text color to a more noticeable color than the rest of the info, or you can just make it a lot larger than the rest of the info. I mean, you just need to make sure that the offer stands out more than anything. So let's try to make the background a little nicer. I'm gonna keep it simple, but I think I want something other than plain white. But plain white isn't a bad choice for coupons either. Next, I'm gonna go with a yellow background, but I want it to fade from red. So I'm gonna take a soft brush and just brush about half of the document on a new layer on top of my yellow layer.
and then I'm gonna set a motion blur to, to blend all the colors together. Now it kind of has like a red or orange to yellow transition. Now that I have this new color, I'm thinking I'm actually gonna make the info a little larger and the photo of the food a little smaller. Then I'm gonna add in some more important information for the potential customer. Like if you actually Google coupon disclaimer, you can get an example and then just you know build your disclaimer from there. But really the idea is just to let people know like, hey, you can't trade this in for money. You can't use this with other coupons at the same time. Like it offers at a, it, it, the offer expires at a certain time, just like stuff like that. And this information is going to be written on the coupon like way, way smaller, almost too, too hard to read because you want the enticing information. Like I said before, you want it to stick out first and foremost. Next, you want to add a logo to the business of the flyer. Right now, I'm going to just make a quick one, for example, and just say this as a PSD. And you can keep making different coupons with the same style much faster in the future. So now you're ready to set up your piece and print it out. On an 11 by 17 paper, you can align them next to each other so you can't fit any more onto the paper. I managed to fit seven on one sheet with my dimensions, but if your coupons are smaller, you can fit even more on one sheet. And because this is right here that you're making is gonna be the sheet that you print out. And you can either cut them down yourself and hand them out to customers, or if your sheet has multiple offers in different sizes, you can hand them out as a whole sheet. If you had them out as a whole sheet though, you, it might be a good idea to put some sort of design on the dock as well, just to like bring the presentation all together. And then the type of paper you probably want to use is like some, some magazine thin type style paper, like a hundred pound gloss or something like that. So I hope this has been a huge help for you. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the box below. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Peace.